Known across the aisle as an extraordinary man with colorful opinions, Antonin Scalia's death closed a chapter in American judicial history. Nino Scalia grew up in a Catholic family and was nominated to the Supreme Court by President Ronald Reagan in 1986. His religious values and beliefs strengthened his ideology, making him one of the most outspoken conservative justices on the court. He never lost sight of the Constitution, what this country is all about. But when news of his death hit the media, residents from the D.C. area and beyond came to pay their respects. When I followed the career of Justice Scalia, I thought he was an exceptional man wonderful justice, and uh, I just wanted to show my respect. Scalia's body laid in repose in the Great Hall of the Supreme Court and received both private and public visitors. We had the, the guard, a couple of uh, police officers there, and um, they had the uh, casket uh, draped in the uh, American flag. You know, it's a pretty surreal experience. And you can see from the lines forming behind me just how influential Justice Scalia was, not only on the court, but to the nation as a whole. And We'll see in the next couple of months just what kind of impact his death has on all these really important cases that are going to be argued. Scalia voted with his conservative colleagues on most cases that appeared before the court, but some are now worried that the bench may find itself locked in 4-4 decisions. That balance without that other justice there, that, that balance is very uh, tenuous. It'll go back to the lower courts. While others see his death as a landmark event and the end of a conservative era. In Washington, D.C., Michaela Colonna, Focal Point News.